Hi everybody. So today I'm going to be introducing you to a new tutorial video. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be deploying a very simple um, full stack application with a MongoDB database, um, Cloudinary um, support for saving images, storing images, and Node.js for the backend. So um, real quick, let's. So what you have to do first, you have to clone. You have to clone the um, repo so you can get that from my GitHub profile. So when you clone the repo. Um, so I already cloned the repo and already moved into the directory. So the next thing we can do is to um, install the project. So like I did, I already installed the project. So already up to date. So you have to install the project. Now next thing to do is so there's an env.sample file. So from this env.sample file, you have to create a port, um, an env file. In env file will contain the port number. So this can be left out because in the code base. I already specified the port, a port number in case there is no port number provided. But if you case you want to create your own, or you want to use your own port number, you can use um, you can just fill it in here. Then you node um, node AMV. So it could be if you are we are deploying live, it has to be production, and if you are running the application in um in um a local machine, it has to be in de development. So the Mongo URI, your Mongo URI will be is the MongoDB connection server link. Um, Port M link here, yeah, basically link that would give us a, a connection to our MongoDB database. So what we would be doing here is we are going to be creating a Cloud Foundry service to help us handle the um, MongoDB database. The Cloudinary cloud name API and security can be found on your Cloudinary dashboard when you create a Cloudinary account. So um, let's get started. So our application is already built, fully built, ready for just, we just need to deploy it. So the first thing we would need to do is to first push our application. So if we do CF push, so we name the application, let me see, I name it mini Instagram because that's what I'd like to call it, mini Instagram. So um, I'm already, by the way, I'm already logged in into a Cloud Foundry, um, into my, using my Cloud Foundry, into a Cloud Foundry um, distribution uh, account. So I'm already logged in my Cloud Foundry account and I already um, specified the, the endpoints, etc. So you can um, do all that if you read my previous tutorials. It's quite simple and very easy to get started with. And the um, Cloud Foundry provider I'm using, distribution I'm using is um, any nines. So while it's still updating, it's created, um, it created um, a new a new route for me. So this is the route to use to access our application, and currently is moving towards deploying our application. So now, the fun. So the funny thing about this is it might actually fail when we deploy this first because why there is no MongoDB server. So the MongoDB, um, the Node.js backend will be looking for a server to connect to. Since there's nothing, the application will fail to start. So let's watch and see if the application fails. Waiting for app to start. Ah, I see. App started. Okay. So if you should click on this link, see, it actually fails. The application does not display anything. We go to our console, we click on console, there's probably a couple of errors there. There'll probably be a couple of errors there. Ah, I see there's no even error, but the thing is the Cloud Foundry, um, the MongoDB code we've written is looking for a server to connect to and since the it can't connect to a server it's just going to be putting the um trying keep it trying until it times out um so for us to fix that we have to create a database service for our application so we can do that by going to the cf marketplace to look for the mongodb service that we need so if you click on cf marketplace it will Grab um, the CF market and um, the available um, the available services that for the for the particular cloud foundry distribution I'm using. Uh, so there's log me, there's Alexis. What we need now is MongoDB. So this is what we need, the MongoDB. So you can um, you can you can actually create the service by running CF create service 
create service the um service name then the service plan that you need or broker so it's going to mongodb then mongodb nano then followed by the name of the um name of the service instance so i already like i said i already um created all that i created that already so all i need now to do is to check if my database service is available so you can do cs service um cs service so i call it cf dash database so i named it CFS so we can check so if you run service service then the name of the service you created you should see um it so the name of the service cf, CF, CF database service a9 m a9 s mongodb 34 status created screen succeed so once you are creating your service your service it take time it takes time for it to actually be created so you can only use the application the service to app your application when only when you have you can see the create succeed succeeded message here so let's bind the application so cf bind you can run do that by c so we need to bind the service now to application right so we can do that by running cf service so if you run cf bind service it tells you it gives you an ex a list so a instruction so what we need is we need to save service the app name we need to bind to and the service instance so that's save database so we can do that by running cf bind the service um app name what's the app name we give mini dash instagram then what's the data the name of the service the service with service name instance we give the name we give to the service instance so that will be cf dash data base so let's bind it and see yeah so um so app mini instagram is already bound to save database so like i said i already did most of this so um we already bound the save database service to our mini instagram app so we can get the details of the service by running to, in the by running cf emv so basically what we need the service for is the mongodb uri that we we'll use to connect to our application so if we run cf emv then the app name what mini instagram so if you scroll down you would see the mongodb uri we need so we will just copy this so we can just copy this come to our env file mongodb uri paste it there save it then once we've done that then we can check the available um services so um you can do cf services we see all the um available services for our application so we have cf database so and it's bound so bound apps mini instagram you can see that it's already bounded to the application now for us to be able to see it work live we need to push again so this will create an entirely new instance of our application mini instagram so when we push this wait for it to finish because it takes a while a few seconds we include you see that we still use we still maintain the existing routes because we did not specify that we want a, route, a random route to be created every time we do um, a CF push. So while we're waiting for that, so let's just quickly wait up for that. Um, stopping app. So it has to stop the app because we already deployed um, the application before. Then start it again. So it needs to stage it. Okay. So this warning here is because we did not specify a node a node version in our package JSON. So this is like really really not necessary. It's Cloud Foundry will autom automatically use the latest and um, compatible Node.js version if you do not specify one. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see it load. Okay, it's still quite. It's still creating the container and waiting for the application to start. And boom, our app has started. So if we click on this, see, application is live. So refresh application works now unlike before when it wasn't working so we can also um upload a new so let's try to upload a new um picture and see if we get something 
saved in our database so let's do cloud foundry plus node.js so when you click on cloud foundry plus node.js it automatically saves the image so whenever we do a reset a refresh every single thing we've actually saved would still remain on our application which i think is really really cool so we have um the what we uploaded before and we have the existing um images that were already in the database so now the, the good thing the one of the smartest thing about cloud this the services is that so when i do a cf push it creates an entirely new version of my application so the service now helps us to persist data to persist the data in our database it saves the data in our database it catches it so whenever we create a new version we do not have a new version of our database we only have a new version of the app so now let's see if we make a few changes let's see if we make a few changes um and see and do a cf push and see if the images we've saved before and the new one we uploaded still remains so let's go to the cf css file so um let's just make the header so the header the header here is black so let's make it blue so we can do something like the h1 so we can do color blue so we save this we run the cf push again and see it's push again so now we're actually making changes to see if as we are deploying a new version of our application now because we've made a single change if it's going to persist the data that already was existing there or if it's going to delete the data and give us a fresh new data so let's see that while we are waiting the application is trying to start it's going obviously going to stop the application like i said before then try to stage the application again so um let's run run it takes a couple of seconds like i said okay um see our application be deployed again upload completed so it needs to destroy the container instance and then start the application this okay yeah application has started again so let's go back here and make a hard refresh and boom here the polar changes to blue our uh, the stuff we've uploaded before still remains everything still remains